Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jigga with Jigga TV back in effect. Hey, you already know what the lingo is. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button right now. Without further ado, today we're gonna talk about the internet. Why snitching? You know what I'm saying? Some of these cats claim they from the streets. They claim this and that. You know, they, they, they say they got a code of ethics. But do they really stick to the code? You know, we gonna run this video of Teflon Dewan Chosen. You know, he gave some good facts. And he actually solved the case. Because if authorities really, really wanted to find out who the guy was that, you know, took the young man's life, Indian Red Boy, all they would have to do is watch this video and question the people he implemented. So that will be considered dry snitching. Without further ado, let's run this video and see what he's talking about. And would y'all consider this dry snitching or just him talking too much? Let's go. Man, RP Indian Red Boy, you know what I'm saying? That was a tragic situation. Very Man, disturbing. Was good, bro. So. I'm looking at these videos and shit, right? Right. We're looking at big homies, OGs, and shit from the land. Talking about. Okay, first, he said from the land. So that means he's a part of the situation on land. Like, he's a part of the tribes. He's a part of the community, you know, of the land. He's a part of the land. Let's go. Hey, yeah, that was payback for Nipsey Hussle. Yada, yada, yada. All this other shit. R.P. Nip. It really baffles me because I don't even know. Do y'all niggas? Do y'all niggas really believe that? For the OG that's on YouTube, or on some type of platform in front of a camera saying that shit. Like, do y'all really believe that? So what really and some happened? some of y'all niggas that's OG that's from the land and saying this shit, not even from sixties. So again, like, do y'all really believe that Indian boy? Hold up, I'm gonna I'm call him by his government name. What's his you government really believe name? believe it's real. Okay. Zarell got killed by 60s. What over happened? Over some shit that Baby Capone did. So what happened? Y'all really believe that? Look, bro. Well, we need to know the I'm truth. I'm going to tell you what happened. No, look before I facts. even say all that shit, right? Look. That shit just ridiculous, bro. He got killed on Chadron Ave. Chadron Avenue. Okay. That's in Hawthorne. Another thing, too. I saw a blogger, and this nigga got like... This nigga got like 80K and mm -hmm. over a thousand some comments and niggas is talking about, yeah, 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 yeah. Look, first and foremost, Hawthorne, Hawthorne is not an avenue. Right. Hawthorne is not a block. They have Hawthorne Boulevard, for the record. He got killed in Hawthorne on Chadron Avenue. Okay. Okay. First and foremost. Okay. So that nigga... He don't know shit what he's talking about, all right? So what's going on? Second, Zarell used to be Hollywood Power Root, okay? Okay. Used to be Hollywood Power Root. What happened was... What happened? Him and this nigga mm -hmm. was both fucking on the same female. It was no secret. Wow. She was a Tatiana. Wow. She gets around. Okay. They pass her around. And his homeboy even tossed him the bitch. Hey, you nigga, go ahead, fuck on the hook. Okay. It was said by that female... That Zarell was talking real greasy about his partner, basically pillow talking. Basically just pillow talking. Okay. Okay. The female went and told Zarell partner, they say, man, blood saying this and that and third about you. So that's when that's when homie went and approached Zarell and told Zarell, hey nigga, what's up with all this other shit that I'll be hearing? You come right. talking with this bitch or something, you and your feelings or something, my nigga. Okay. They end up getting into it, boom, they end up getting into a fight. Right. They got into a fight right there. In front of the homies, right there in the hood. You sound like you was there too. Zarell ended up getting his ass beat up. His partner put feet, nails, and elbows on that boy. Okay. All right. Whenever two homies is fighting and the other homies is present, they only gonna allow the fight to go so far. But in this situation, they didn't. What they did? Because did? they know that Zarell is tender dick when it comes down to these females. All right. They know it. Nigga, you deserve that little ass whooping that you finna get, that you getting right now, my nigga. So. Zarell Pilot did not, did not get off of Zarell. Okay, for those who might be lost, I'm talking about India, India boy. Okay. Zarell is India boy. Zarell, that's his government name. All right, so. Right. Whenever his partner got, got through whooping his ass, 
the nigga felt some type of way, not only about the ass whooping and how it occurred, but the fact that the home the homeboy did not intervene right. whenever this shit took place. Got you. You feel what I'm saying? I feel you. So that's when he said, fuck y'all niggas and went to Inglewood. Okay. Now if you ask yourself, why how how could this nigga go from one hood to Inglewood like that? Okay, first and foremost, when he was in middle school, he went to school with a lot of them niggas. He been knowing baby Capone and all them niggas from Inglewood. How do you know all this? He been knowing them niggas. So whenever Hollywood did what they did to the nigga, it wasn't shit for him to go to Inglewood be like, hey, say, nigga, I'm repping this now. Right. You know what I'm saying? They put the nigga behind the building. He got his little fade in. And boom, now you hood. All okay. right? He wasn't even in Inglewood that, that long. And then when he went over there, the nigga started dissing Hollywood. Like, come on, bro. Like, wow. Your problem was personal okay. with one nigga behind a female. Your problem was personal behind a nigga with a female. Why are you dissing the hood? So, nigga, you had that coming. You had that coming. That's kind of cold. And the crazy part about it was, right, when this nigga went to Hawthorne, Chadron Avenue, mm -hmm. he was pulling up on the same female that he was pillow talking with, the wow. same female that went and told Zarell partner the shit that Zarell was saying about him. Okay. He went up and pulled up on the same female. I'm not saying that she set him up. Sounds like you are. I can put two and two together and come up with four. Right. I can. We can. A simple arithmetic. But 60s did not have nothing to do with this man getting killed. We know exactly who did it at this point. 60s had nothing to do with this man getting killed, bro. And look at it like this here. Whenever that man did get killed, on no platform did you ever see, no Instagram did you, did you ever see or find a 60 claiming that body. Right. 60s never put that body on, on, on their hood. Okay, but so what hood did it? Of them talking about, oh yeah, 60s did that. What hood did it? They don't know the backstory on what the shit that's really going on. You know what I'm talking about? But I can tell you this though, whenever that nigga did get killed, the first hood outside of Inglewood. Okay, who? That did response and made a statement on that shit. Who? Was Hollywood Power Roots. Got it. Was them niggas. Got it. And them niggas was laughing, parlaying, and some more shit. That's enough. That's 60s all we need. Kill that boy, over and over. Mural that we Baby know Capone exactly did. who did it now. Nah, the sisters ain't do that. Thank you. It was highly popular, bro. Like on everything, bro. You pretty much snitched.